Welcome back. We're gonna head back into the deep spot here in uh, Tidal Wave again because I don't feel like we got to see as much as I expected to see last time. We spent basically the entire dive down there, although it takes us some time to get down to the deep spot to begin with too. But that was over a lot faster than I expected. Let's head back on down and see what we can come up with. Now I've seen an area like this where you have like underwater ruins, but there's actually like something to it, like some kind of story behind it or something. Not necessarily just in the sense of lore, but like there's a reason each thing is where it is and whatnot. I wonder if the... Oh, careful there. I wonder if large parts of the ground here just like sunk at some point or something? I should also... I hate doing this, but I should also perhaps test out the different levels. Different heights you can swim at here. Here are those crabs again. We're just more towards the middle of this place in general. I wouldn't think that those crabs would be the only unique fish here in the deep portion. That would be very strange to me. More crabs, I feel like. Yeah, this is... I don't know if I can touch those. Here's what it is that they're doing. I, they might be trying to pick stuff out of the, the uh, air, so to speak. I don't know if they're like trying to like reach out and grab stuff to eat or something. I don't know how crabs work. Am I indoors or not right now? Yeah, it's weird. That I, maybe maybe the ancient civilization was crabs. Maybe maybe they, maybe they're still going here. I don't think I'm allowed inside though. This is crab country. These are the guards. Or guards singular maybe. But I was allowed entry regardless. Is there a ceiling here? I am actually indoors. Huh. Unfortunately, the one thing that bugs me a lot here is that it's a bit difficult to really get meaningful control over the camera. So it's hard to look around and get an idea of what's what's around you. Like what's above and below you, for instance, and you rotate so slowly. I knew it. King Crab. Yes. It is a crab civilization. They're kings of crab. Although I think I woke them from a slumber. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, dude. Jeez. Enjoyed this diplomatic mission 
with the king. Um, king, could you help me? I'm stuck. There we go. Granny is now a diplomat. Got an interesting audience here, King Crab. In your court. <laughs> I love how I just deliberately placed a crab there, though. That's awesome. This resort has been an interesting experience of dog and crab. Goodbye, sir. See, they, they wave me goodbye. I love that. Unfortunately, I don't think I can wave back. No, up and down, not do anything. At least they don't wave, if anything else. So I guess that explains why I only ever saw crabs here. This is just a place in inhabited by crabs. It's kind of like when you, you're in a human inhabited area, you don't see much of anything other than humans. There might be like some squirrels, raccoons or whatever. But you don't find much of them. You need to be there, be in the right time and place to find them. Crabs have a very interesting sense of architecture. Can I touch them, by the way? No, it's actually not a problem if I touch them. See, they're not hostile. I don't know if we need a passport to go into crab country. Do crabs have passports? Well, I probably would have been arrested before even going to the king's chamber if I wasn't allowed here, so... Although, depending on where Kawabi is, Granny probably already had a password to come here to begin with. It looks like that's all there is here in this deep portion. Oh, that was cool. Swim up very fast. Gotta touch the shark. Yeah! <laughs> that shark did not like that. Beautiful. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to bring up the my little recording of... Oops, all those hints. Because otherwise you have to go all the way back to the main menu to see them. Which is a bit of an issue for me. 38 is the episode, I believe? Yes. Uh, marine guide. Oh, not hitting things. Sorry. I can't scrub very well in this video. Okay. Um, according to ancient texts discovered in the ruins, the way to the crystal world is to head beyond the wall and towards a fissure in the earth. Well, there's a great wall towards a fissure in the earth. I'll have to, I don't know if that's going to be in the area I'm in right now. I don't know if that's going to be in the tidal area or not, though. Uh, we did encounter a wall there, mind you. So, it may or may not be beyond that wall, meaning in the in the deeper area, I guess, more like. And I, I'm trying to read the other hints, but I keep accidentally going past them because I scroll through them really quickly for some reason. I've already found 28 of 51 balloon, balloon, balloon messages, apparently. Are there... Are over half... Are like three-fifths of the balloon balloon messages just in the first resort? Oh, well, you do have the you do have the general blue balloons, I guess. And then you have the guides for each of the specific areas. Oh, wait, no. Crystal World, that, that's not for um, diving. That's before diving. Heroes Trial, Cliff of the Legendary Sword. I still don't know what that's talking about, but that's that's in the ring guide specifically. 
and it says taking the plunge, which is presumably into that crystal world. Uh, different color clownfish. Oh, just for the drift point that flows at tidal wave C, you may see a rare red and white marine mammal walking along the sand. That's the uh, warty frogfish, I think. Uh, something at Rocky Ridge. Something else at Rocky Ridge. Something else at Rocky Ridge. Mystery C. Okay, so Rocky Ridge goes up to number 31 in your diving chart. So let's see if we have everything up to 31. I want to have seven still. Unlucky number seven. Oh, we're missing one here. I'm missing 17, whatever that is. Nine feet, my god. Yeah, they're ancient too. Yeah, it is an ancient crab civilization. Well, it's the largest arthropod. Huh. Uh, did I misread the. Oh no, 21 is where our title ends. That's the one crawfish. Okay, so I'm missing again. I'm missing one. <laughs> Just like last time. I guess for now I have everything there. Hold on a second. Let me rearrange my windows. There we go. In that case, uh, let's finish the fish search here. Maybe the game will tell us which of those. Uh, and there are three fish searches for each area. I think so. That means only one left in this area. Let's see if it will tell us what the missing fish is, like the last one did. Eight striated frogfish. Okay, is that the is that the whole thing? Let's find some frogfish. I wish I had a mission to find all of the uh, crabs in the deep area. How do they limit these fish searches to such specific small sections of the entire map? Not in the sense that I think it's strange that this one level is restricted to this part of the map. It's that we already had the first level also restricted to this part of the map. I think the second one giving you the entire map to explore was a little overkill even though I managed to intuit fairly well which areas we were and we're not supposed to explore. Lots of sharks today, my god. I guess they're kind of uh, encouraging you to stay down here with your striated friends. So the question now is was that above ground area with all the ruins also made by crabs? I'm inclined to say yes. I wonder if it's like an opposite Atlantis type of thing, which from the crab's perspective would probably just be Atlantis. But you know how Atlantis is usually thought of as some kind of place that got submerged at one point? I think. That's the usual story behind Atlantis, that it was an above ground city that then got submerged at one point. But what if the crab ruins up the mountains of Gowari are like the exact opposite of that. They used to be submerged and they are made by the crabs underwater. I think you only find this frogfish on the sand, so I need to be careful here. But then the water level actually dropped. And it, or the ground went up. So now all the all the crab buildings and whatnot are no longer inhabitable by crabs because they're not underwater anymore. Yeah, I have stripped this particular spot dry of frogfish, I feel like. Oh, whatever. There must be some chunk of this I haven't gone into yet, though. Here we go, I haven't been over here. It is interesting, there are 
sharks everywhere. I do like, though, that you get to actually see the same environments, the same levels, with a couple different, uh... There's still fish over there. With some variations in what's actually there and happening in the place. There's one thing in, in this ocean was that maybe it changed it with the seasons a little bit, like what fish you'd find where, maybe? And there was also, of course, day and night, which should make noticeable differences. And by and large, that game seemed to be a little static. Like, you go in one place and see what's there, and then there's not really much to see there again, usually, I don't think. Oh, this, guy, this guy's a climber. I have many striated friends. Wonderful. Alright, I'll see you next time in the next episode when we check out the... The Cove. New area. We're halfway there. We're halfway done, aside from the two fish we're missing, at least. <laughs> so, uh, this is what, like, eight episodes in for the diving stuff? How many episodes have I recorded today? Oops. One second. Yeah, so, I guess that's an estimate in total of, like, uh like 16 episodes for this entirely, so I guess there'll be like three recording sessions entirely of me exploring these areas. I'm fine with that. I'm enjoying it. Anyways, bye everyone. Oops. There. Bye everyone. <laughs>